Today's warm up number one. Solve this proportion. We're going to set these equal to each other. So we've got these two sections. We have 4 times 3x plus 7 equal to 6 times 2x minus 5. Okay, we do the distributive property. We have 4 being distributed to 3x and also to positive 7. That gives us 12x plus 28 equals distributive property here. We've got 6 times 2x, which is 12x, and 6 times negative 5, which is negative 30. Draw a line. We're going to identify our terms. We're going to subtract 12x from both sides. That cancels, that cancels, which leaves us with 28 equals negative 30. That, of course, is not a true statement. So, this has no solution. Number 2. With number 2, we're going to create a function that represents the following. So our function is going to be in y equals mx plus b form. First thing we're going to find is the y-intercept. The y-intercept, we go to the x values, find the one that's at 0, and whatever the y value is, that's our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is 15. So, so far, what we have is y equals mx plus 15. Okay. Now we're going to look for our constant rate of change. With our constant rate of change, we have to remember that is the change in y over the change in x. So we have to look for a constant rate of change. We'll start with the, uh, the y values. From 3 to 6, we're adding 3. 6 to 9, adding 3. 9 to 12, adding 3. 12 to 15, adding 3. Going to the x values, 16 to 12, we're subtracting 4. 12 to 8, subtracting 4. 8 to 4, subtracting 4, and 4 to 0, subtracting 4. So, our slope, our m, is going to equal our change in y, which is positive 3, over our change in x, which is negative 4. So, our function now is y equals 3 over negative 4x plus 15. And number three. For number three, find the area of the right triangle below. The area, of t the formula to find the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. That's for the area of a triangle. So we have the base. We need to find the height right here. It's a right triangle, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem: a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember that RC is always going to be the hypotenuse which is across from the right angle. So we know that if we fill this in we're looking at 17 as our c squared. Now 8 could be our a or b. Let's put that as our a. So 8 squared plus b squared and b is the side we're looking for this time equals 17 squared. We do the computation, that's 64 plus b squared equals 289. We're solving an equation now. We're going to subtract 64 from both sides. We have b squared equals 225. Take the square root. We have b equals 15. So our b is 15. So we have 15 times 8, base times height, divided by 2, which comes out to 120 divided by 2, which ends up being 60. So our answer would be 60 
units squared.